Hello everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to discuss another problem. But before going forward, if you have not liked the video, please like it, subscribe to my channel so that you get notified whenever I post a new video. So without any further ado, let's get started. So problem is ga gas station. There are n gas stations along a circular route where the amount of gas at the ith station is gas i. You have a car with unlimited gas tank and it cost cost of i of gas to travel from ith station to i plus one. So from ith to i plus one, cost of cost i gas is used. You begin with journey. You begin journey with empty tank. Given two arrays, return the starting index or starting gas station index from where you can travel around the circuit once in the clockwise direction. If there otherwise, if you cannot travel, you have to return minus one. There is guaranteed. If solution exists, then there will be only a unique solution. That, that means there will be only one path. Let's see what the problem is. So two arrays will be given, given gas and cost. See over here. If you see, we have to. Like what we have to do is we have to start from any gas station. So these are gas stations. Let's do the indexing. So these are gas stations. We have to start from any gas station. Suppose I get start from this gas station. I have to go in clockwise direction. That is this direction. From this, obviously, this is a circular. So I'll go here and like this. I have to come back to this station from where I started. If I am able to come back to the station from where I started. Then that station index will be the answer. So two will be answer if I can start from two and I can reach to two again. Otherwise, if it's not possible, then we'll return minus one. So this is the problem. Now let's start. So the uh, let's see how three is coming. See, we'll start from station three. That means this station, uh, this over here, we will have a variable. Let's say current fuel. That how much current fuel we have. So what will be the current fuel? Uh, we are we are starting from this station. So this four will be car will be filled up with this fuel. And in order to go to the next station, it will have to use this cost. This so it was written in the question uh, that cost of I is the gas need to travel from ith to i plus one. So if you are at this ith to i plus one, you need to go. You have to use this. So four minus one. This will be used. This much will be used. And when you come here, five will be again added. So this will come out to be eight. Like let's see over here, like this. So this will be. Let's say what we are doing is for every station we are calculating now how much is left. So four. Is filled and one is used to come here. So this this will be your left one. So when you reach here, five will be again added to this. But in order to go to the next station, which is this zero station, you need to use two. So this will be minus. This will be five plus three, eight minus six. Then you come here. You need you uh, this one will be again filled in your car like car and. Three will be used to go to the next station, so minus three. This will be six plus one, seven, seven minus four. Now you come here. Four plus two will be six, but minus four because you have to go to the next station. So this will come out to be two. Then you come here. Then two plus three, we will fill the tank. And two plus three, five will be there. And in order to go to the next station, we require we will use this five, and we'll go to the next station. So five minus five, zero, and we reaches this station again. We reach this station now, and here from we from here only we started. So this four three station three station is our answer. If you like, say if we start from this, let's say. We start from station one, or so from station zero. So from station zero, one will be filled. In your current fuel will be 
current fuel will be 1 and in order to go to the next station 3 will be used so this will be minus 2 means you only have 1 in your gas in your tank and 3 you need so obviously this is not possible now you only have 1 but in order to move you need to have 3 so when this will become minus current fuel means that is not possible that we cannot start from that station from that station right so this is one case this is one case now let's see how we will approach the problem so this is four First, first thing to first thing is that that if this total gas which is given to us that is one plus two plus three plus four plus five and this cost which is given three plus four plus five plus one plus two this means this is what we need what we need to make a you know full circle and this is what we have now if what we have is less than what we need then then it will be not possible to you know go from one make a cir whole circular like from start from here and go till come till here so you have to make a circular we have to go to circular route na? route so if what we have is less than what we need this is cost means from like in order to go from each station to from one station to other station this cost we require and this much fuel we require and this is the fuel which we can have so over here if you see 1 plus 2 uh, plus 3 6 6 plus 4 uh, this will be 15 and over here this will be uh, 8 plus 7 this will be also 15 so these are equal hence it's possible hence it's possible to go to make a circular route but let's say over here if it was 13 then we require 15 fuel we require 15 fuel but only 13 fuel is there then this will not be possible so this is one condition we will check initially if the sum of this gas is less than like if sum of gas is less than sum of cost then return minus one this is one condition now what we will do is we will start the traversal see one basic approach brute force approach is that that we every time we like we start from this station we start from this station and we check whether it's possible to go from this station uh, and may, uh, come to this station or not so this is brute force approach like we start away from we check for every index like if we are able to if we start from one index can we reach back to it or not like that so this will be n square approach if we do that but the n square approach will not be ex get accepted over here if you see 10 raised to power 5 is the constraint n is 10 raised to power 5 so obviously n square will not work so you have to think of n so see how we'll do that see any time Anytime we saw earlier, right? We saw earlier for one when when we started from this zeroth index, uh, zeroth station, we saw that current fuel became in negative. So when negative current fuel became negative, it means that we cannot go further, and means the position from where we started was wrong position, was wrong station. That is not our answer, right? So now see. Earlier we checked now that if sum of gas, if sum of gas is less than sum of cost, then we'll return minus one. If this is not the case, means it's greater than or equal to, then it means that there will be an answer. There will be an answer. So we have to find that. How we'll do that? We will have a current fuel variable as we saw earlier current fuel. So we'll start from here. We will add one gas. We will add gas, but we will gas of I will be added, but cost will be subtracted because cost 
is to go to the x station so it will be subtracted so 1 minus 3 now minus 2 it becomes negative means we cannot start from this station we will have a variable start initially we will give 0 we cannot start from this station so we will let we will assume that we'll start from the next station let's say i plus 1 so we we will assign start to i plus 1 so we will start from let's say we start from one station and we will also make current fuel as zero again because we are again starting from this one station because it's not possible from zero so we start from one station right and uh, we start from one station and what we do is we add two because this we are filling the tank but we have to spend four so this is again negative means we cannot start from this so let's assume we can start from the x index and current fuel will become zero let's again initialize it to zero right then we come here i will come here gas i will be added so this will become three but cost will be subtracted minus over here it was over here it's 2 so 3 minus 5 it will become minus 2 again negative so it's not possible to start from the second station so increase start to 3 and uh, current fuel will again make it 0 right now we I will come here we'll start from this we start from this so 4 will be added and the cost is 1 so 4 minus 1 3 fuel is so it means that we can go to the next station it's positive means we go to the next station next station how much gas will be added can 3 5 will be added and how much will be spent minus 2 so this will be 6 which is also a positive right so if you see our start we have traversed the entire array and our start was 3 so it's possible from this three session to start if we start from this three session we can go and we will our fuel will be current fuel will not be negative so it is possible from this right so you might be thinking that why we are not again going and checking from this because see first of all we checked earlier that if the fuel was greater than if the like the total sum fuel was greater than the cost then there is a path and we found the part and there is a unique answer guaranteed to be a unique answer right and already we have checked that we can go from this path we already checked that right so i hope you understood what we did over here uh, let's see the code once So what we are taking, what we are doing is we have taken two variables, total fuel and total cost. We are finding total fuel, total cost. And if total fuel is less than total cost, return minus. We have discussed this. After that, we have taken uh, variables, current, which is your current fuel and the start. So what we are doing is we, every time we are adding gas i minus cost i in our current fuel this is our current fuel and current fuel becomes negative don't start from that station start from the next station because you know you cannot start from there Other, uh, and current uh, if you are starting again so current fuel will be we start in the starting current fuel will be 0 so set it to 0 and at last you, your start will have the start index I hope you understood the approach and the problem very easy problem uh, time complexity will be O of n and space will be O of 1 as we did not use any extra data sets. So I hope you understood the problem and the approach if you found the video helpful please like it subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video.